Hey, what's up guys? Tim here again. Got another tutorial for you today. Learning how to tie the lambda knot. Right, it is from the Ashley Book of Knots. But also we're just really quickly uh, converting it into a sliding knot bracelet as well. So yeah, pretty simple this one. Not too much to say about it. But uh, yeah, this knot is also good for lanyards. And you can even probably string like um, a bunch of them together to make like a necklace or something like that. Anything you want. Overall, it's not too hard. It's actually pretty simple. And uh, yeah, hope you guys will enjoy it. So that being said, let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so I've got roughly three feet of paracord. And we're going to start more towards the, um, I guess you can say the left side. And you'll see why in a sec, because uh, you're working mostly the cord on the right. So let's take the cord. I'm going to make a bit of a loop like this. And then on the right side here for this longer side, I'm going to make another loop go behind and hold it like that okay so that's where you should be and next I'm gonna take this longer strand which is this one I'm gonna go through here bring that through to about there okay so you should have pretty much these three loops like that. The next, you're going to take this end again. So you're still working with that same long end. And then you see how uh, right here underneath my middle finger, we've got uh, these two sections. So you're going to go through right here, on the left side of that section. You're going to go behind underneath this cord here and then through the loop on the right here like that okay so let's pull that through then you're going to bring this cord towards yourself all while holding all this together and then still working with that same cord we're going to go through this loop once And then we're going to go again, but on the right side of it. Okay, like that. Then now finally, lastly, still working with the same cord. You're going to go underneath this cord here. And go out through the middle in between these two cords and uh, right here. Okay, so go underneath these two and then pull that through. Okay, so now you have a bit of a, a mess here, but we're gonna slowly cinch everything through and take your time with this because um, it could tangle the knot. So I'm just gonna yeah, carefully pull all the slack through Okay, so I've got all the slack cinched out, and if you're just doing this for a lanyard or whatever, um, you can stop here, but because we're doing this into the uh, sliding bracelet sort of thing, we can do that now. So I'm just gonna double over the cord here, and with this longer strand, this is where you can kind of gauge your size. I'm going to do one loop over, another loop over, like so. So you're gonna have that X, and take this end through, Pass it through there. Okay, and then we pull this tight. Okay, there we go, that's one side. And that's where we'll kind of snip and cinch. Now let's do the other side. It's the same thing. One loop over, two loops over. And then we pass through here. It's a pretty simple 
knot. I've done that one before for the uh, eternity knot bracelet. So this is very similar. And there we go, right? So we can just snip and singe our excess bits of paracord here, and then we'll be finished. All right, and there we go, we are done. Snipped and singed off the excess, and the sliding knots work great. And that is it for this one, guys, another one in the books. I hope you enjoyed this one. This has been the uh, Lambda Knot tutorial, but also the Lambda Knot uh, friendship bracelet or paracord bracelet, you can call it. So quite simple, and I hope you guys enjoyed this one. So remember guys, if you're looking for where to buy a paracord and all the other materials I use in this video, check out those affiliate links in the description box down below, because uh, when you shop through those, you're helping out this channel, and you're helping it go on. All right, so that is it. Remember, if you're uh, unsure of anything, leave a comment or question down below. I've been getting a lot of comments lately, so I don't always get back to them right away, but uh, I do read them all. All right, so thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.